All right, we're going to download the driver to monitor all the printers in our client site. So we go to internet and download and type on uh, ameterreading.com. Go to download. Type direct download. We save the file. Double click on it. That's a very small file. We type in the license. We take this away. Okay. We type in the license. Here's a demo license, but uh, you will have your license when you're client. Then all the files will be downloaded to your file, to your folder. Okay. Okay, we are done. All right. Here you have to enter your client ID. This is only for your purpose to recognize the printers and the client ID later on with your uh, billing software. Okay, so it's nothing to do with us. It's just your ID. Great. Now we have the ID done. Now we just hit the scanner. Scan for printers. And automatically we'll start scanning the network looking for printers. Okay, we see here this testing thing. This is a testing communication with a server. And this is a countdown from 255, which is the IP addresses available in this network. We wait a couple more seconds. Okay, that's almost done. Here we are, ready. Exit. And that's it. No anything else. Now, if you want to check it out, you just double click on the icon. It could be it could be a customized icon as well, so it doesn't have to be only always this one. We have here the printer list. Okay, and here we have an, an like an embedded uh, website. Okay. That, that could be also your uh, website. Double clicking on any printer, you will have a, a order form for toner. Okay, so we have the toner levels here, and you will have an order form. Here, the end user will enter his email address, so he will receive a copy of the order. Okay, any email address. And you will receive another one, of course, but it don't, you don't need to enter anything here. It will be automatically done. And of course, the name and phone number for contact, phone contact details. There's also here a um, agreement, like a terms and conditions form that has to be agreed, of course. Okay, here we have a, a preview of the order. We have a lot of details here. You have the date and time. You have the client uh, information. Here we have the printer information. Here we have the order itself. Okay. And here we have the readings of the toner levels. And also meter readings. Okay. We have total counter, total block counter. We have some information there. Great. That's it. We can. And user can check out the last order just to see when it was placed and how many how many items he asked items he asked for. Good, that's the last order. There's another thing that you can right click and open a ticket. Open a ticket. It's for if you want to service printers. Okay, then the information and user information is already there but it has to enter the notes it's a printer doesn't work okay doesn't work great you click on click on send and close that's 